Ready? Sure. Good morning, everybody. Seven minutes for seniors. I'm Chris Wilson with Modified Independence here at Rummies and Yummies on Wells Road with Amy Hales. This is our fourth, fourth segment. Yeah, fourth sure. segment. I don't know. We had we had one segment where we had to film twice, so it feels like Groundhog Day in a way. Um, so if you just watch in our previous segment, you learned all about the Atlanta Olympics from the perspective of somebody uh, who was there. Uh, and otherwise, go back and check out our other segments if you haven't seen them. Um, so fourth segment, still fun, okay? Okay. Beer, liquor, wine, or water? Rum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> liquor, rum. Rum? Yes. Just rum? Coconut rum. Okay, so coconut rum is clear, correct? Yes. It's not dark? No. Do you drink dark rum? If I have to. Are you a shooter or a chaser or a, a I'm mixer? A, I'm a fruity person. What can I say? I am the one that the bartenders are like, oh, God, she's here. Yes, because I like my fruity beverages. Right. But, yeah, with the little umbrellas, yeah, I'm not. I'm that one. How much rum is in one of your rum cakes? Yes. <laughs> there's rum in the cake. There's rum in the glaze, which alcohol content bakes out. But then I drizzle straight rum on top. And you can always get extra rum if you want right. an additional charge. Now, I thought when I first met you that you put you were able to put alcohol in the coffee. Uh, no, not technically because I don't technically. have a liquor license. Okay, all right. So you don't have I would to have a liquor. Love to to do that though. You don't have a liquor. You don't have to have a liquor license to make rum cakes. cakes. No, because the alcohol content's not high enough percentage of the product. Really. Whereas huh. alcohol in your beverage could make you tipsy because it's not right. baked out or cooked out. Right. Huh. Okay. It's all about the percentage. The percentage of alcohol. Which my mom should be proud because I said percentage in relation to math and I'm a history major. Let's just get that. <laughs> my mom likes numbers. I avoid them. Okay. Yes. All right. I think I actually got the questions backwards, but that's <laughs> fine um, because there's there's only two questions in this segment. Okay. Sometimes it's a long segment. Sometimes it's a short segment. Um, so do you have a, a rum collection at home? Or are you some, some, but most of it migrates here. <laughs> <laughs> if I showed you my rum bottle collection back there, you would laugh. I probably have 60 bottles of rum really? back there right now. What's your most exotic bottle of rum that you own? Oh, now, see, I'm a basic kind of girl. I have, like, I don't have a lot of exotics back no. there. I'm really, I've got Bacardi and Cruzon. I've got a Sailor Jerry and a couple of, like, Appletons and stuff like that. Because yeah. I've got some special order customers that like particular rums with their cakes. So if there's something in particular you want, I can do it. That's cool. Yep. That's cool. I, I can't like, drink rum anymore. We went to Jamaica on our honeymoon, and I drank way too much rum. That Southern comfort for me. I did go to Florida State. We won't go there. That was a really bad weekend. But I also <laughs> have, like, Baileys because I do truffles, and then I have, like, tequila, and I have bourbon. So I have okay. other alcohols back there. There but you go. Rum is my um, – I wouldn't say um, – I better not say the word addiction. It's the my go-to. Go there you go. Yes. <laughs> not an addiction. No. Rum okay. cake addiction. So then the other question is uh, cake, cookie, or candy bar, which is kind of weird since we are at a place where you make rum cakes. Cake, cookie, candy bar, or ice cream, or pie? I'll throw pie in there for Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy made me put pie in the question. Nah. Cake, cookie, candy I bar, I can do uh, pie. Thank pie. you. Um, probably cake. Because I could probably eat the almond rum cake every day. Because round is a shape, and I am perfectly in shape. <laughs> I use that all the time. So, yeah, but cookies would probably come close second. Yeah. And I, normally I ask people if they bake, but obviously we know that you bake. Do you yeah. cook when you go home? I, I do. Yeah. Sometimes. It depends on what we're doing. Does yeah. your husband cook? He does. Yeah. Sometimes. Like, what's your, what's your, what's your go-to if you're cooking dinner? Oh my gosh, my go-to. Well, my kid loves steak and rice. I don't know what is wrong with this kid. Or salmon and rice. That's, that's super healthy. What's wrong with that? Uh, yeah, you try affording this 12-year-old <laughs> wanting steak and salmon every night. I'm like, dude, it's called peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. And he's like, spaghetti. I don't like that. Yeah, he won't touch it. <laughs> really? He won't touch peanut butter and jelly. He doesn't touch spaghetti. Is it a texture thing because I, of, because I of the spectrum? I don't know. How old is he? He's 12. 12? Okay. He's good at it. Yeah, he's good at being <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. So, so you would. So, do you do you make your own cookies? Yes. Okay, and you oh. have you have cookies here. Yes, everything's yeah. from scratch. Everything. I do everything from scratch. 
That's really cool. Yeah. So really cool. Uh, there might be a couple of recipes where it starts off with like a cake box. Um, but there's only like one or two of my recipes. So I, I follow whatever the recipe is that I'm mm -hmm. doing. But as much as possible, I deviate and do it from scratch. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, if you guys want to try out her rum cakes, cookies, rum glazes, anything like that, the coffee is here. Here is amazing. Uh, make sure you come out on December 6th for our Senior Care Roundtable. December 7th. December 7th. I don't know why I keep saying December 6th. December 7th, uh, D-Day. Not D-Day, Pearl Harbor Day. I'm yep. going to get it right eventually. Because December 6th is my husband's birthday, so we'll okay. just call that out for him. Because okay. you just keep thinking right. yeah. of my husband. <laughs> uh, December 7th yes. from 9.30 to 11.30 yes. here at Rummies and Yummies on Wells Road. We're going to have the Senior Care Roundtable. It is your opportunity if you uh, work with seniors care about seniors, you are a senior, please come out and learn about the resources that are available in the community. This is Amy's business and she has all of us here because she understands as a caregiver that was uh, thrust into that situation that uh, how important it is to have those resources on board. So y'all make sure you come check them out. Uh, all of her ways to contact her are coming up here in the next few seconds. Have a great day. We'll be back again tomorrow for our fifth and final segment. Thank you. Thank you.